what I am doing it right now is it's giving me you know the breeze of life. Yeah. But for me, it's life means it's that. Not like uh, serving for the system. The system, you know, needs this, and uh, if you go in this way, and uh, you know, it just uh, for me, I can't. I can't. There is no energy, you know, to even to work or to lie in or to perform. Uh. Okay, Tamrat, so Wait. today yeah. I'm going to ask you, or okay. we're going to discuss, not questions, it's about an interview. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also wanted to talk about your relationship with like money, like the way we were talking about it um, oh, okay, okay. last time. Yeah. Yeah. As an artist as well, yeah. someone who has a family, mm -hmm. DC. Yeah. And then also I wanted to talk about Western grants, because mm -hmm. I know a lot of African artists depend mm -hmm. on grants from the West mm -hmm. and like implications of that. Yeah. We also don't have to get through all of it. Yeah, just you will, uh, you will ask me in the middle, yeah. so I will just... Exactly. For example, me, if I see... Um, uh, Gabriel Christos, mm -hmm. uh, he's a painter mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in Ethiopia, and also the Gabriel Christos is uh, very uh, from the 60s and uh, 50s. They are very uh, strong artists, you know. When I see m their workers, you know, I see some kind of light, you know. I see some kinds of, uh, and I, I have so many, you know. Um, education and yeah, feeling inspiration inside. but uh, when you see my work is my work is different mm. you know, I can't say like this work should be to right this one or right. you know like you should do it the way I do it or they should do it the way you do it yeah I need only you know so I see in those old religion or philosophy mm. or I see lights but yeah. what is the problem is just dominating yeah. and uh, you know and with that comes like an erasure of like people's culture, right? Erasure of people's cultures in the sense yeah. that you don't, you're saying you're Christian, but like, where your ancestor is Christian, or like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. why are you saying you're Christian? Why are you saying you're Ethiopian? Just because, or? Yeah, yeah, you know, and also uh, when you are giving a name for yourself, and uh, really, do you define that name? For example, uh, when I said I am Ethiopian, okay, so do I know well Ethiopia? Do I know the culture, the religion, and uh, you know everything? Do I represent that all, mm. or just for uh, to write it down? To, to <laughs> write it down, I just and uh, so always I want to go deep, you know. Mm. So people, you know, sometimes. Uh, they become emotional, you know, uh, for example, we have a lot of, you know, more than 80 tribes. Mm. So those old tribes, you know, they said, I am, um, for example, I am Konso, I am Romo, or I am Somali, I am, uh, you know, um, Daoro, you know, like. Mm. So finally, you know, you, you, when you, you see some kind of emotional things inside. Mm -hmm. But if you really... Uh, you know what you said. Mm. Uh, I would say uh, you can't be the emotional. So you know when you raise things black, white, or you know country to country. But if you really be that one, you don't be emotional. You you could be a light. Right. Like if you're comfortable with saying yes, then it's not as tough. Yeah. So this I I when one things I'm just go deep into it mm -hmm. only i don't ask uh, just hold it just to name you know yeah uh, but i want to go deep really and uh, i use that mm. so that's why you know uh, nowadays i am for example we 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 know that we have a lots of tribes in ethiopia and more than 80 tribes but maybe if you ask everybody count it maybe they count five six and they stop right. so i try I am also one of so I want to know oh, how uh, by name where they live how they uh, you know uh, 
the exercise, their cultures, religion. So there's less uh, misinformation. Uh, yeah, so I am trying, uh, you know, to to know that one, and at least trying, you know, to to make an alphabet out of it. For example, uh, here in my sketchbook, mm -hmm. uh, I am trying to make uh, an alphabet from the every tribes, but still I am doing it, and from the every. Uh, tribes that we have and also the historic uh, buildings mm. or history and from those all I am just uh, trying to create um, to create an alphabet out of this so all this that we have we have uh, the geese the, that we use the Ethiopian alphabet mm. the ancient one in my family you know my family is there a weaver my father is a weaver Mm -hmm. to make uh, traditional clothes and when I was a kid I really uh, into uh, sport, music and art okay so they know these things and uh, there is no any uh, pressure for uh, when I am practicing this, this, these things uh, I really appreciate my family because they you can do whatever, whatever you want, you want. To do. So, yeah. And your friends who are also artists, did anyone have any issues practicing art? Of course, you know, I know in the village also there is uh, some uh, friends, you know, all the families, they, are, they don't have equal, you know, interpretation on art. You know, you have to study, you have to, you know, you know why do you always... Uh, making uh, drawing or art, you know, I, I, I know that there is in the village this kind of uh, thing, but luckily to my family mm -hmm. there is no. And also, when I, in my elementary school, I am only good with these three subjects, <laughs> not uh, mm -hmm. with uh, other subjects, uh, science and biology and uh, some you know mathematics and so these all things mm -hmm. is not my thing but the teachers they come you know to they ask me to draw you know like a picture mm -hmm. uh, like uh, for example for geography you make uh, the land and all the you know uh, the terraces of the land mm -hmm. and also for uh, biology you make this all the kidney and uh, you know all the body so they come to the, the teacher come to me and me to draw that one mm -hmm. and I got a lot of mark <laughs> with this but uh, the the biology by itself the it, the class I'm not good you know? mm -hmm. um, I know these things but still um, yeah did uh, you end up going to art school yeah 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 in art school uh, like I I just finished in two thousand okay in, in uh, painting department. You know, since I graduated from there, uh, with my test phone, you know, I have a friend test phone who graduated with uh, sculpture. Mm -hmm. So we we used to rent studio around a rat kilo. Now this is piazza, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, after you know uh, two two three years after the graduation, again we uh, we become four artists and one poet, and we rented these old houses here. So we used to, we start working here and experimenting art and uh, you know discussing mm. about art. Uh, in um, in 2006 2007, uh, um, so there was two years gap. You know we stopped the working here and you know like I, I was just uh, um, working to to Gadam Safar, Piazza, you know, like uh, moving with my sketchbooks to mm. different, uh, you know, uh, cafes, uh, you know, uh, chat bed and in different places. I was uh, traveling with my sketchbook and working. In 2008, we found uh, the Nets Art Village. You heard about Nets Art yeah. Village? If you Google Nets Art Village, you could see it. So Nets Art Village with 11 artists, we found it. Is it, it like is a re residency? Uh, it is uh, uh, it is a park, mm. a public park, to to Bella. It's a place where it's Bella. So that in that public park, we manage it. You know the art space that uh, 
uh, we make like art workshops there mm. and um, a residency program. Right. Is it still functioning? No, 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 no. Uh, because I think yeah. um, Mifta had told me, or someone had told me that um, the park, the government wanted to use the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you guys got another land or something. I don't know if it's it's the same. Yeah, design. yeah. But, uh, you know, after six years, we do lots of things inside, you know. Uh, concert, uh, residency, you know, so many the art activities we used to do there. So the government's going to build the spa on the space, you know, like swimming pool and, you know, different, like they are going to um, build something. So, so oh, this is Mr. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. He can't say something for about you. About what? Mm -hmm. Anything. Yeah, yeah about Tambat? About Tamrat, his the art, space. the space. Yeah. Well, actually, we used to talk about the Nezahat village, how it is. Oh, you, you've been talking about that. About how it is demolished and uh, how we didn't, they didn't give us the alternative spaces. We have been on that. Mm. Yeah. So, the, I mean, if I continue from what you have been saying about uh, the demolition of Nezahat village, uh, the intention has a very good cause. <clears throat> but um, uh, the process was a swift one, uh, it was very fast and uh, it was not on a very concrete ground so that the, art the artists were unable to relocate themselves in mm -hmm. another place. So what they have to do was like to come back to their places where they have been you know, practicing art uh, in different studios and private studios like this. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, most of them, uh, I mean, some of them, are, I think three of them have left the country. I mean, it's quite a disaster to uh, put uh, something, you know, as if it hasn't been working on. And Meret, um, Henok, Solomon, they moved to, to the different parts of the world, um, as well as Dawit. You know, he just came back to a studio next to this one. Mm. So it really created a, a sort of confusion and uh, a, a time of uncertainty because when there is change and there is really um, a space, a gap mm -hmm. where you know you can't be, uh, you can't rely on the past or you can't be part of that or you can't move on. So there is that time mm -hmm. uh, of transition. So it was a bit of a confusion, but. Uh, since the wills that they have been doing was uh, within themselves, they were able to manage like overcome. Yeah, to overcome. I feel that Tambat's work is very important because, um, you know, different from many artists, contemporary artists in our country, Tambat's works are really based on research. Mm. So he uh, really capitalized on research and he that he researches in many different ways. He travels, he reads books, he makes some kind of references both locally and internationally, and he exhibits his works and then he gains experience. He's not only a studio artist, mm -hmm. he is really a person, an artist who, you know, um, uh, puts his light, you know, to shine out of his studio. Okay. Uh, Tom Park is relentless. Mm. Like, he's very persistent and um, I think he should go away. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, maybe that is, yeah. yeah. It, it, there is a challenge. Most art buyers are not Ethiopian right. and foreigners. Mm. And if, if uh, the Ethiopians could buy a art, you have to make something which is like, uh, uh, related with the tradition, tradition of uh, yeah. Ethiopia, but uh, me, you know, I want to make my own experiment, you know, right. my uh, own ideas. So for that, few people they come to buy mm -hmm. you know, from you, but most, uh, you know, art lovers which comes from foreigners, yeah. they they just buy my works. And you see, this is also a challenge. And also, in, in uh, there is no in in, uh, in cultural, for example, in in the culture minister, there is no any art fund or grant, right? Uh, anything. 
which is encouraged you. Mm -hmm. So these all things is on you. So the challenge is you stop or you keep going. going. So with this challenge now, still I'm uh, still going. for this uh, 18 years, 19 years, I am just working as studio artist. Uh, and artist. also when you are always staying in your challenge, you you'll find friends like Mifta and other galleries. They come, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, see, this is this is for me. It's like uh, my shrine. I could yeah. say, you know. So if I stop, you know, uh, you this this uh, encourage, you know, the, yeah. the others also. So always there is no bed by bed things, you know. There is always a challenge. Yeah, that's it. You know, I was expecting like a simple camera yeah, holding like this <laughs> without... Uh, anyways, 